Hello, my dear students. Welcome to EPG Patshala. I am Dr. D.C. Saxena, Professor and Head of the Department of Food, Engineering and Technology at Sant Longoval Institute of Engineering and Technology, Longoval. I am presenting the paper, Technology of Meat, Poultry, Fish and Seafood Products. And the present module is about Technology of Traditional Indian Meat Products which will be explained to you by my able co-author, Ms. Saeed Insha Rafiq. Hello students, welcome to EPG Patshara. I'm Saeed Insha Rafiq from Sant Longoval Institute of Engineering and Technology. Today, I'm going to talk about module 23. That's technology of traditional Indian meat products of paper number 8 that's technology of meat, poultry, fish and seafood products. In this module we will be learning about the technology of traditional Indian meat products that are consumed. Many traditional meat products of different countries have been well documented and studied. The rich heritage of India contributes to wide range of traditional foods and has a role to play in health foods. Indigenous meat products are unique in their spicy flavor, simplicity and ease of preparation. They have the potential of becoming value-added convenience products of good palatability. The ethnic and tribal groups are confined to their traditional ways and customs where meat consumption is an integral part. They produce varieties of meat and poultry products since time immemorial. Apart from the fresh meat production and traditional processing, a sizable portion is preserved using their indigenous methods and ingredients. Popular indigenous meat products are Sikh kebab, Shami kebab, tikka, kofta, etc. Some of the variety meats are used in traditional manner. With many processing methods and tools offered by contemporary food technology along with scientific packaging, the quality and shelf life of traditional meat products can be raised to world-class standards. Indian meat dishes are popular not only in India but all over the world. They are very tasty and tempting. Meat cooking is influenced by Mughal cuisine even though Indian food and its taste have changed dramatically. In North Indian families, meat is not eaten daily but it's cooked occasionally as a treat or entertaining a guest for the parties and weddings. Chicken is well liked in India. Tandoori chicken, chicken curry and kebabs are famous all over the globe. Indian dishes seem difficult to cook but once you know the spices and the method of cooking they are very easy to prepare. The rich heritage of India contributes to wide range of traditional foods and has a role to play in health foods. Indigenous meat products are unique in their spicy flavor, simplicity and ease of preparation. Popular indigenous Meat products are Sikh kebab, 
शामी कबाब टिक्का एंड कोफ्ता सम ऑफ द वेराइटी मीट्स आर यूज इन ट्रेडिशनल मैनर बफेलो मीट इज वेल सूटेबल फॉर मेकिंग पेकल्स ऑफ हाई प्लेटेबल मैरिनेशन ऑफ मीट चंक्स विद एसिटिक एसिड प्रायर टू कुकिंग significantly improves the tenderness of meat and overall acceptability of the pickle use of cucumis trigonus rocks ginger officinal and pepin in the preparation of roast buffalo meat chunks contribute a significant improvement in flavor juiciness tenderness and overall acceptability of the product addition of ginger extract increases the collagen solubility and decreases the shear force values of meat chunk it can be effectively used to improve the sensory and keeping qualities of better meat chunks with many processing methods and tools offered by contemporary food technology along with scientific packaging the quality and shelf life of traditional meat products can be raised to world class standards meat can be utilized for preparing kofta meatballs For the preparation of chicken kofta, lean meat is coarse grind through 8 mm blade of a meat grinder. Then 10 to 15 percent of vegetable oil is added to it. After this, wheat flour 3 percent in combination with whole egg liquid 5 percent are incorporated to provide sufficient binding strength. seasonings salt and spices can be mixed as per consumer preference the dough is then rolled into 15 g balls with hand and deep fat fried for 5 minutes rogan josh is popular in kashmir cuisine and its origin was brought by moguls It's one of main dishes of Kashmiri wazwan. It consists of braised boneless lamb chunks cooked with a gravy based on brown onions or shallots, yogurt, garlic, ginger and aromatic spices, cloves, bay leaves, cardamom, cinnamon. Its characteristic brilliant red color traditionally comes from liberal amount of dried kashmiri chilies that have been desaturated to reduce their heat while the traditional preparation uses whole dried chilies that are desaturated soaked in water and ground to a paste a modified version of the dish is yogurt based but referred to by a slightly different name hindi rogan josh ingredients used for the preparation of rogan josh include mutton curry cut about 800 g ratan jog bark of a tree from kashmir extract nearly 20 ml saffron a pinch while cumin a pinch and kashmiri chilli paste 25 g ginger garlic paste 25 g and nutmeg a pinch while mace 10 g however garam masala onions chopped 100 g and oil or ghee 30 g tomatoes chopped 120 g mutton stock 500 ml and lastly coriander leaves 1 by 2 bunch for the preparation of rogan josh following procedure is taken 
make a curry paste using cumin chili paste and ginger garlic paste heat fat and fry the onions till golden brown and add the prepared curry paste after that fry the above mixture till masala fragrance emerges and then add the tomatoes afterwards add the peach and half of the saffron stir well so that the masala gets uniformly coated on the meat then add stock nutmeg mace and ratan joj extract and simmer the meat till well done then add the rest of the saffron soaked in little milk then serve hot garnished with chopped coriander leaves it's a traditional meat product prepared by direct contact with fire technological processing involves curing and then smoking of meat for the processing of barbecue following steps are taken into consideration firstly lean meat is taken and then cut into small cubes then these cubes are subjected to curing process which includes spices and condiments or mixer and small amount of curd is also added to form a mixture then meat cubes are mixed well with the mixture and left as such for some time after this skewers are seek iron stick to which the cubes are attached is taken and cubes are attached to the seek by introducing the seek into the cube the cubes are attached one by one till one third of the seek is occupied then the seek along with the cubes is placed on fire generally bone fire so that the cubes are cooked when one side of the cube is cooked then the seek is rotated in order to cook all the sides of the cube in this type of cooking there is a direct contact of food with the fire then the cubes are taken out from the seek and are eaten with chutney for the preparation of shami kebab meat shanks are taken then meat shanks are soaked in water and are simmered sidewise black gram is taken and is soaked and simmered then both the meat shanks and black gram are grinded together by adding spices salt condiment paste after grinding then round balls are prepared however some people also add liquid egg to the mince after the round cakes are prepared then these cakes are shallow fried with edible oil on a griddle till both the sides are brown for the preparation of seek kebab following ingredients are taken mutton means 700 g garam masala 2 g chili powder 4 g dry mango powder 2 g cumin powder 4 g black pepper powder 4 g nutmeg powder 2 g garlic paste 5 g ginger paste 5 g chaat masala 4 g rock salt to taste cashew nut paste 10 g onions chopped 100 g coriander leaves chopped 50 g lemon wedge 4 numbers and orange rings 8 numbers for the preparation of seek kebab mutton is minced and blended well with all the spices except the chaat masala then cashew paste chopped onions and coriander leaves are added and blended well after some time equal size balls are made and these balls are spreaded using wet hand 
along the length of a skewer about one inch apart and making each kebab about four inch long. Then the kebab are cooked with the skewer for about five to six minutes. Then chaat masala is sprinkled on the kebabs and garnished with onion rings and lemon wedges. Hyderabadi Biryani It's a traditional Indian cuisine liked by everyone. It consists of rice, mutton and spices which were traditionally cooked on wood fire for several hours. For the preparation of Hyderabadi Biryani, following procedure is taken. Wash mutton and take it in a vessel. Grind green chilies ginger, garlic, spices, fried onion and mix them all. Then add this mixture to the meat. Then add curd to it. Mix the stuff thoroughly. Leave the material for half an hour. Take 2 liters of water in a vessel and put it on the stove. When water boils, well, put the rice in the vessel. Take out the semi-cooked rice and spread it on the meat and spices mixture as a layer. Take some more rice and spread as second layer. Finally, spread the fully cooked rice. Prepare a mixture of one cup of boiled water and one by four kg ghee and spell it on the rice. Now put a plate on the vessel and seal the edges with dough. Put the vessel on the stove, cook for 15 minutes on medium flame. Then turn off the stove, leave the stove for 15 minutes. Hyderabadi mutton biryani is ready to serve. Now. Moving to Vazwan, that is a Kashmiri food that we have today in the restaurants and has evolved over the years. In Kashmiri language, Vaz means a cook and Vaan means shop. Highly influenced by the traditional food of the Kashmiri Pandits, it has now taken some of the features of the cooking style adopted in Central Asia, Persia, and Afghanistan. Kashmiri food makes an extensive use of turmeric and yogurt. Superb preparation and fabulous aromatic flavor of the Kashmiri food is so alluring that even those who are not feeling hungry and up yearning for more. In the making of Kashmiri dishes, garlic and onion are not used much as in the case of other Indian cuisines. Absolutely rich in taste and exotic in flavor, Kashmiri cuisine has become a popular choice. The strong influence of Kashmiri Pandits who are predominantly meat eaters explains the reason why the cuisine of Kashmir has more of non-vegetarian dishes. Kashmiri thali is preferred mainly for its non-vegetarian dishes. Traditional Kashmiri thali consists of vazwan which demands lot of preparation. In fact, preparing was one in itself is considered as a great art. Substantial time and effort is spent on the making of this special feast. The cuisine of was one encompasses near about 36 dishes. The head chef known as Vasta Vaza does 
all the requisite preparations. It's mostly prepared on some big family occasion or festivity. The use of curd in the preparation of food gives the dish a creamy touch. To enhance the flavor of the meat dishes, Kashmiri add a safedu that is hing to the food. Other spices used to add to the taste are dry ginger and sauce, this aniseed. Sometimes ginger is also used in excessive quantity that makes the dish pungent. Kashmir being the leading producer and chief exporter of saffron makes an extensive use of it in the form of a colorful flavoring agent. For its amazing aroma, it's added to pulao's and sweets. Traditional Kashmiri form of cooking is known as Vajswan and consists of mostly non-vegetarian dishes. The history of Kashmiri traditional cuisine Vajswan dates back to the last years of the 14th century when the Mongol ruler Timur invaded India in 1348 during the reign of Nasiruddin Muhammad of the Tughluq dynasty. As a result, there took place a migration of trained cooks from Samarkand to the Kashmir Valley. The descendants of these cooks came to be known as Vazas, who are the master chefs of Kashmir. Throughout the history, like its culture, Kashmir cuisine has stood high and unrivaled by any other state in India. Kashmir cuisine is quite famous for the gracious use of spices like cinnamon, cardamom, cloves, saffron, etc. Spices used in Kashmiri cuisine give special taste and aroma to the food. This royal cuisine of Kashmir has been influenced by Iranian, Afghan and Central Asian styles of cooking, despite which it has been able to create an identity of its own. Non-vegetarian dishes consist of an important part of not only the diet of a Kashmiri, rather a banquet was one also. Kashmiri dishes make a regular use of dry fruits, especially in the preparation of curries. Kashmiri rice is also quite aromatic and light and thus the Kashmiri rice pulao is well liked by people. The cuisine of Kashmir is truly unique and has absolutely no comparison. Some of the varieties of Vazwan mentioned here include Rista, that's meatballs in a fairy red gravy. Rogan Josh, that's tender lab cooked with Kashmiri spices. Then Tabakmas, these are ribs of lamb simmered in yogurt till tender, then fried and can be served as a snack or side dish. Then Kebab, that's minced meat roasted on skewers or hot coals. Then Gushtaba, this is a velvety texture meatball in white yogurt gravy. It's a specialty. And last but not least, yakni. It's delicately spicy yogurt curry. As far as the preparation of rista is concerned, lean meat is taken and finely minced on stone grinder. 
then egg is mixed with the minced meat and is again grinded then whole and ground spices like cardamom large pepper cumin chili powder and salt are added and is mixed well with further grinding after this small balls are made from the grinded meat by rolling the meat with wet hand gravy is prepared which includes water salt and spices garlic ginger nutmeg mace ratan jog extract garam masala and crushed fried onions or shallot and the balls are dipped in the gravy for cooking process then hot oil is dipped into the mixture the balls get swell when cooked in the gravy and spongy texture is attained in case of sikh kebab lean meat is taken and coarsely minced in case of frista the meat is minced until it gets separate from the stone grinder and it attains somewhat fiber like structure while in kebab meat is minced only to comminate it in other words for rista meat is finely minced while for kebab meat is coarsely minced spices and salt are added to the meat and it is further grinded so that the spices are mixed well with the meat then egg is mixed well with the meat for binding purpose then the meat is attached to skewers in the form of a rod and grilled after grilling the meat is removed from the skewer and it attains the shape of a tube which are then fried in oil for the preparation of tabak mas meat from the ribs is taken and cut into flat pieces then the pieces are boiled in water with spices like fennel salt cardamom etc after boiling the pieces are dried and then deep fried in fat for the preparation of yakhni mutton pieces are taken and then boiled in water with spices like fennel and salt curd is taken as a base and spices like small cardamom cinnamon salt are added and curd is boiled by continuous stirring in order to prevent coagulant formation then the boiled meat pieces are taken and dropped into the curd solution and cooked until meat attains a soft texture then onions are fried until light brown and are dropped into the mixture and further cooked at last mint is garnished on yakhni for the preparation of gushtaba is the last item to be served in a traditional vazwan lean meat is taken and finely minced then egg is added and is again minced balls are made from the minced meat with wet hand gravy is prepared from curd spices by continuous stirring of the curd these balls are then dipped into the gravy and cooked well till a thick consistency is achieved so students let us now summarize what we have learned in this module we have learned about the technology of traditional indian meat products these products are available in restaurants hotels served in parties and marriages and are also cooked at home occasionally 
as a treat or on an occasion or to a guest. These products including Sikh Kebab, Shami Kebab, Kofta, Rogan Josh, Biryani and Vazwan are mouth-watering especially to the non-vegetarian class. These products were influenced by various emperors like Mughals as Mughal cuisine and nations like Afghanistan, Iran as Vazwan. The technological perspective of cooking involves either cooking directly on a flame like in the case of kebab or cooking in a gravy like in case of Rogan Josh and Kofta are cooking with rice as in biryani. However, the most tempting and attractive being the Vazwan, the cuisine of Kashmir that has evolved over hundreds of years. The first major influence on the cuisine is the food of the Kashmiri Pandits. The cuisine was then influenced by the culture of people who arrived with the invasion of India and the Kashmir region by Taimur and has also been influenced by other Central Asian, Persian and Afghan cultures. Wazwan is a multi-course meal in Muslim Kashmiri cuisine of which is considered an art and a point of pride in Kashmiri Muslim culture and identity. Thank you. What is the technology of traditional Indian meat product and its different aspects? Now this is very clear with the presentation of the module as explained by my co-author. Now in the next module you will be given the knowledge about the physical structure and chemical composition of egg. Thank you.